So for this particular video, I am going to use Adobe Spark's background removal tool. Now you do need to have an Adobe Spark account to use this. In this browser, I have actually already logged into my Adobe Spark account just to save one stage from having to be filmed. But um, this tool can be used outside of Adobe Spark as well. So if you're an Adobe Spark user and you have an account, the chances are you've probably seen the background removal tool in beta within Adobe Spark. And that's fine if perhaps you want to actually maybe remove the background and then create, I don't know, a YouTube thumbnail or a banner or something using your image, so committing to further edits. But in this case, I just want to remove the background from a single image, store it on my computer, and then maybe take it into another application like PowerPoint or something like that. So I've signed into my account using the sign-in option here, but the easiest way to get to this free background removal tool is just to search Google for Adobe Background Remover. Now at this stage, all I need to do is click on this button that says upload your photo. It will then ask me to locate my image on my device, or if you don't have one and you just want to test this out, you can select their sample image and it will show you how it removes the background from these two individuals here. I will click on browse on your device and I have a picture here. So this is a standard JPEG that I have taken off of the internet. Um, from one of the websites where I can find free to use images. The individual here has quite a lot going on in the background and I've purposely chosen this image because as you'll see in the background we have a lot of white from the cars, from the windows and the gentleman has a lot of white in his shirt, his handkerchief in the pocket, shirt sleeves and also around about here. So the thinking was some online tools which remove backgrounds can be quite difficult to use and they struggle a little bit with multiple colours or close colours. In this case I want to show just how good a job the Adobe tool does of removing the background. I'm going to click on the open button and this is how quickly it can remove the background. So I'm not adjusting the speed here. My image will be ready probably now. And here we have the individual and the background has been completely removed. So even down to these little areas underneath the arms, we could see that before there was a little bit of white in there, they have been taken out. And this is a really high quality image and background removal here that we can then take into another application. Now, before I can click the download button, if I haven't logged in, it will ask me to log into my Adobe Spark account, either using one of the, the many methods, including email, um, Facebook login, Creative Cloud. But in this case, I've already logged in. So all I need to do now is click download. And at this point, it will tell me that it's been downloaded. And if I want to, I can take it then straight into the editor within Adobe Spark to further edit this particular um, image. I'm going to close this down because all I want to do is just open the image up. So I'm going to open the image here and then you will see we have an image which is completely transparent in the background. We've got nice sort of soft edging here and we can see everything about the individual has been brought across. Now, as you see, if I zoom in, we can see just how good the quality is around the edging of the individual. And even if you were trying to do something like this in Photoshop, it would take a little bit more time than it has taken the 10 or 15 seconds for the editing tool to remove the background here. But because it is a PNG file, we've got this transparent background. And if you took this into PowerPoint or into Adobe Spark or Canva, then you'll know that you can put this individual straight onto a colored background and it would work really, really well.